Morning guys, it's Mr. Seaman here. I've got Oscar with me and Isaac with me who are going to help us today. Say hi boys. Hi. Um, we are going to go through a little coordination with equipment activity today. So we're going to be using the ball. So make sure that you have a tennis ball or something similar around. So it doesn't matter if it's a larger ball. Um, you're going to need your ball, a little bit of space and you're going to need a big smile on your face. So enjoy yourself today. Um, first of all, what we're gonna do at the start, we're gonna warm ourselves up. So we are going to do a little bit of activity to make sure that our blood is flowing in our body, get that blood moving and pumping around to our muscles. So we are going to start off with some nice knee uh, lifts. So we're gonna do some big marches on the spot. So try and use opposite arms, opposite legs. Try and get those legs, legs going nice and quick. Oscar, can you do it quicker? Nice and quick. Try and go from hips, so I said that, look at my hips. So hips, that's it, just like that. Hips to lips, as we're marching on the spot. Okay, so we're gonna keep that moving, and when I say go, we're gonna have a little five second burst. Bit quicker, ready, go. And relax, and back to our march. Okay, ready for it, go. Fantastic. Okay, so just slow it down a, li a little bit, make sure that you're feeling good, you're starting to feel a little bit warm yeah, now. Yeah. Okay, so we're now gonna go down and up. So we're going to do some squats. Okay, so hands out in front of you. We're gonna put our legs slightly further apart and we are going to go slowly down, like we're sitting on an imaginary chair and slowly up. Now obviously we're at home doing this session, so if you're at home doing this session around people in your household, it's absolutely fine that we're all close together doing this work. If you're doing this session in your school, try to make sure that you're a good distance apart, try to make sure you're keeping your distance from one another. So the spaces that we're working in will need to be doubled or maybe even tripled. So make sure that you're aware of your space and listen to your grown ups in your school as well. So we're going to stretch ourselves now that we're feeling a little bit more warm. So we're going to start with a little bit of a stretch. So I want you, we're going to use our legs and use our arms lots today. So we are going to sit ourselves down. We're going to put our legs in front of us. So if you want your tennis ball, just move to one side for the moment, you can. And we are going to point our toes forward. And back towards you. Forward and back towards you now we get our two little hands and they're going to be like our spiders and they're going to walk down our legs down our legs as far as you can to your toes and hold it see if you can touch those toes and back up spiders back up up to your hips and we're going to walk them back down spiders fantastic Okay, tap those toes if you can. Oh, good job, I did. Well done. Okay, and walk back up. Lovely. All right, this time we're going to put one leg up towards our thigh. So inside. So let's just help Isaac out with that. That's it. Inside there. Fantastic. And we're just going to slowly, slowly drop our body down on one side. So the side that our straight leg's on, try and drop our body down. Good. And back up, and down, and back up. Let's switch our legs over. So it's important that we do all of these exercises and stretches on both sides so that our body's completely ready. We're gonna walk down and stretch down. Back up. See, so make sure you hold that stretch. So back down, hold it. Other side of your body, as it left hand touching your left leg. That's it. And up. Good job. Okay, let's keep those legs out. All right, we're ready to do some activities with the ball now. So, have your tennis ball ready. Got mine. Okay, so we're just going to do some, as I say, some coordination with, with the ball, some different movements, some different activities to give ourselves some control and some skills with the ball in our hands today. So all I want you to do is just get used to the ball and move it from hand to hand. Off you go. Move it from hand to hand. That's it. Well done. Now, a little tip as we're going, so keep that ball moving, little tip as we're going. Try to make sure that your ball is going from side to side, but you're using a nice wide grip with your hands. 
So when I do this, and I know I've done this with some of you guys, I talk about a bear's paw, so a wide grip. That's it, and you can see Isaac's now getting a little bit better, so he's using a wider grip. Okay, fantastic move from side to side. If you're feeling more confident, now you're gonna drop the ball, that's gonna happen, so just be aware of each other's space. If you're going to drop the ball, doesn't matter, just make sure you go back to your spot and your space. Now, just stop there, please. All I want you to do, please, is make sure that as you're moving the ball, you're in control. So you're going to need to make sure that your knees are nice and squishy and bendy, so that you're set and ready to go. Where should your eyes be, do you think? Um, forward. Forwards? Forward. You think? Staring side this way? Side. Maybe side to side. Where should your eyes be looking? At the ball. At the ball? The ball. Because if I'm looking forward, that's going to be really tricky. If I'm looking side to side, that's going to be really tricky. If I look at the ball, then I know I can follow it. Okay, so this time, we're going to try a bit of a rainbow. So up, over, up, over, up, over. Nice and controlled. Up, over, up, over, up, over. That's it. Over. Now see how I'm using my squashy knees? Using my squashy knees to help me. Now one-handed catches, Isaac. Do it under control. Show the camera, show the people on the camera how you do it with control. I'm just going to help Isaac out. Bend your knees. Put your feet here. So slightly wider apart with your feet. Bend your knees. Okay, you're going to be moving from side to side. You don't want your throw too high. You want to keep it about here. Go. That's better. Okay, try and keep it a gentle throw. A bit of a rainbow that you're making. A bit of a rainbow that you're making. Okay, bending those knees. All right, good job. Okay, so to challenge yourself a little bit more, challenge yourself a little bit further, we could go higher. Now you've got to be aware of the space that you're in, so it's up to you, you could go higher. Isaac, go back to your spot, please. Good job, okay. So now we're gonna try a new activity. So this time, I want you to put the ball out in front of you. So we're gonna drop the ball, let it bounce, and catch it with two hands. Drop the ball, let it bounce, catch it with two hands. Okay, so take a little step back, Isaac. See how many of those you can do. Drop, bounce, catch. So try not to push it. Try not to push it, just drop it. So just drop it. Drop. That's what I want to see. Drop, bounce, catch. Drop, bounce, catch. So we're going to need those knees to be nice and bendy. If we're straight like this, you might not even see me on camera. We're not going to be able to bend down. We need to be nice and bendy. See how many you can do. Can you challenge yourself to do 10 in a row? Use those big wide fingers to catch it. Drop it. Good. time let's see if when we drop it we can just catch it with one hand so watch me first so turn and face me watch me so I'm gonna drop and I'm gonna capture my opposite hand so I might use my right and then into my left or my left into my right so I'm gonna drop catch then switch so if I've done it left to right what do I do now right to left, right to left. drop catch drop catch drop your body down nice and low to catch it off you oh, that's it Bendy knees, squishy knees to make sure that we can go up and down. Okay, so just stop there. When we're dropping the ball, we're trying to catch underneath the ball. Okay, so as I'm dropping the ball, watch first. Dropping it, I'm catching underneath it. Underneath the ball, like an ice cream scoop. Scoops up that ice cream, gives you a nice ice cream. Yep. There's your ice cream. Lovely. We're going to drop and scoop up. Remember that bare paw. And remember our nice wide legs, not stuck together. Nice wide legs, nice squishy knees. Okay, off you go. Drop, scoop it up. Drop, scoop it up. Drop, scoop it up. Drop, scoop it up.
keep going, doing a good job. Lots of what we're doing is on the spot in the space that we're working on. We're using lots of strength in our legs, coordination and control with our hands, but we're also using lots of balance. Now, okay, so we're gonna try and get ourselves used to using this ball today. And what I want you to now do is to try and move that ball around your body and in and out of your body. So you do it in any way. So you go round and round and round, or you could go round your legs, or you could go around your arms, or you could go around your hips, you could go around your legs at the bottom, around your feet, up to you. I want to move the ball round and round and round your body. See if you can have a go. Ready? Off you go. Good, well done, round your hips. That's good. That's a good one. Round your legs, Oscar's having a go round your legs. Need to just come here, Oscar, for camera so you can be seen. That's it. We can go round our legs. We go up and down, up and down. Try that one, can we try that one? In and out of our legs, yes. It is a number eight, yeah. So you're sort of drawing a number eight in between your legs. Good job. Okay, uh, we're gonna have a go at some activities now which involve a wall or a flat surface. So I'd like to get yourselves ready, make sure you've got a space against a wall. It's gonna demonstrate this activity. So this is a wall-based activity, so make sure you've got a good space. We're gonna still be using that same squatted ready position, so knees apart slightly. Legs apart, that's it. Nice and bendy on our knees to receive the ball. Isaac's gonna throw the ball, it's gonna bounce and he's gonna catch it. Ready? This is level one, give it a try. Throw, bounce, catch. Excellent, give it another try Isaac. Throw, bounce, catch, excellent. So this is level one. You can use one hand to catch or two hands. Level two, Oscar's gonna show us this one. So we're going to do a throw and catch. So we're gonna take the bounce out. So we really need to be on our toes, bending our knees, making sure we're ready to go. Throw and catch against the wall. So you can use two hands like Oscar is now, or you can use one hand, it's up to you. Now you might see that we've got our wall marked out with numbers and pictures, that's useful as well to look at a target. Keep your eye on a target of where you're gonna to throw to. You can see Oscar's throwing nice and high to get a bounce that he can receive. This is level three. Now Isaac's gonna show us exactly what to do. We are going to use both hands with a bounce and then a catch in opposite hands. So we're gonna throw into the middle of the wall with one hand, bounce and then catch with the opposite hand. Ready Isaac? Yeah. Give it a try. So we're gonna throw with our right hand, bounce, catch of our left hand. Good try, Isaac, give it another go. So right, bounce, left, well done. And now from the other side. So Isaac's done his right, so now he's gonna switch from left to right. So he's that using, it. that's it, that's the left hand. So we're gonna use our left hand, bounce, and onto our right hand. So you can see it's a tricky challenge. Keep going, Isaac. You're gonna get better and better at it. Right, bounce, left, and now left. Left, bounce, right. So you will have, like Isaac, a stronger and a weaker hand here, but I want you to keep working on both of them to make sure that you improve. You can see Isaac's getting better already, even after about 10 seconds. Oscar's going to show us level four. So level four is very similar to level three, but we've got no bounce. So we really need to be on our toes for this one. Off you go, Oscar. So left to right, right to left, switching hands. Now, if you wanna make it harder, Try and throw the ball lower. So look at where the number two is on the wall. That's kind of where you want to aim for. Maybe even lower than that, maybe the number six. Fantastic, so that's going to give you less time to receive the ball. So the lower it is, the lower you have to go to receive it. And you've got to be on your toes here. Make sure you're bending your knees to receive the ball. You see Oscar's doing a good job. There we go, so the challenge is right. If you're dropping it, the challenge is right for you. Good job, well done, nice wide grip. The final challenge, the ultra hard difficulty challenge, is using two balls and using a crossover. So this is a bit like starting to juggle. Okay, so see if you can have a look and have a try at this one. We're gonna start in that same position. I'm gonna throw, swap, and throw. guys we're going to have a little bit of a cool down now i hope you enjoyed the activity today i hope you found some of the challenges with the wall a bit difficult i know we did so try and go through those challenges and if you're on level one maybe next time you can push yourself on level two 
and etc. You can try and get through all those challenges, making your skills with the ball better and better. So we're going to start to cool ourselves down and I'll talk through why some of these activities are useful for you today. So we're just going to stretch ourselves. So let's put our legs nice and wide. Okay, and we've used those leg muscles lots today because we've been getting into that set position. And we're just going to walk both of our hands down our legs onto our toes. So we're stretching out our hamstrings here. Hold it there at the bottom. And back up. Fantastic. One more time. You can see why these activities are really useful today as we're using the ball. So really useful for any throwing and catching activity, any striking and fielding game, like cricket or rounders. But really good for tennis as well to keep your coordination with where you would use your racket. One more time. As it slide down and hold it. That's a stretch, isn't it? We hold it. Good job. Okay, we're going to try a little bit of balance work. So you can see we've done some balance work at the start. One leg balance. Try and hold it for as long as possible. Can you go low with a little squat in your balance? And then back up, that's tricking. And back up, use your hands if you need to. And back up. Good job, switch over legs. This will give you some nice strength in your legs. Switch over legs. This is my leg that's a little bit weaker. Let's see, so keep your eyes on the keep your eyes forward. One leg. Balance. So if you go down. And up. Down. Fantastic. Okay, so stretch those legs out a little bit. Okay, we're going to go right back to the start. And remember, we were doing some marching at the start. We're going to go back to that, but nice and slowly. So opposite arms, opposite legs. Hips to lips, hips to lips, 